Hey guys, we are in Luzon today and we are going to take you around in the city, even go to the mountain Pilatus, so let's go! that the station's right there and literally if you spin around you see the chapel bridge you see the old town you're super super close to everything all right everyone first things first when you're in lucerne you're gonna head right over to the famous chapel bridge this bridge actually dates back to the 17th century but as you may know in 1993 there was a unfortunately large fire that destroyed quite a bit of the bridge but you will see if you look up in these triangular formations some of the original artwork did survive so make sure to look for that you can walk across the whole bridge there's actually a couple tourist shops on there but make sure you also peek out of the side to get a beautiful view of the city of lucerne and the old town which you're about to explore next Once you've crossed the Chapel Bridge, you will be perfectly placed to begin exploring the colorful old town streets of Lucerne. This is really just a great opportunity to walk through, pop in some shops, maybe grab a coffee and explore the really beautiful architecture and colorful, charming buildings of Lucerne. It's one of my favorite old towns in all of Switzerland and I definitely recommend giving yourself at least 45 minutes or an hour to just stroll through the streets. It's quite small, but definitely worth spending some time and checking out the beautiful buildings. So we're going to take our bus number one to go to Kriens and take the Pilatus or go to the Pilatus. So we are in Kriens and we see the first gondola. So we are going to take the Pilatus van from Kriens. We're going to go take a few gondolas up to the Pilatus van and then we'll take the old funicula that looks pretty cool also to, to Adlachstadt. So let's go get our gondola. So we are on our gondola in the Pilatus, we left Kriens, we're gonna go to the Pilatus, the top of the Pilatus and uh, you have some nice views on the mountains and but we'll show you at the first or the second station. You can actually check the weather, today maybe we could have checked a little bit better the weather but uh, you can definitely go on uh, pilatus.com and have some webcams. But I think we're gonna have a, a nice view on the, the four cantons lake. So let's go. So we are arriving at Frekmünteg. We could, oh we have a thing to, to get out anyway. And we are going to do the luge and have fun there. See you then. <laughs> We had an amazing ride, we're going up the mountain again, but uh, really, really recommend it. It was, I think, uh, nine francs for the ride, but the longest ride in uh, Switzerland, longest uh, trip like this in Switzerland. So I really recommend it if you go to the Pilatus to stop at Frequenti, something like this, and enjoy the toboggan run, as you can see. Yeah, and you can say hello to our cows. Our friends, the cows. Hello! So we were in Lucerne, Chapel Bridge, etc. We took the bus to Kriens. We went all the way up here to Fregmünteg. That's where we did the Had toboggan. Fun. And then we're going to take the other gondola to the Pilatus Kulm. Which might be in a cloud, but we will show you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to take actually a very nice, very old, but uh, and it's steep. Nicola, all the way down to so we are getting into the dragon ride 
You can see the toboggan run. Some of the Lutzan and the cloud. So we are on the Pilatus School. Here is the direction with the dragon ride to Krien. Here is the train to go to Alpnachstadt. And we're gonna go see or not see the panorama, <laughs> I think. Unfortunately, it's cloudy, but we'll show you how it can look. Well, we were giving this advice in our last video. I guess we didn't listen to our own advice. But uh, a little cloudy here. Maybe look at the, <laughs> the webcam when you get in, but I uh, will show you what this beautiful view looks like when there's no clouds. Pilatus. We went up from Kriens to the Pilatus and then went back down here. We are in Alpnachstadt and we are going to take the train back to Lucerne. But I actually think this direction is maybe better. Everyone does it the other way. So that's maybe a good, uh, a good thing for you if you want to avoid a little bit the crowd. You can walk up there on the walls, but because of COVID for now it's closed. But there's also it's also because it's a museum. But usually you can walk all along the way uh, on the wall, which is giving you an even better view. Yeah, I think there's nine towers, and I can show some pictures. But you could see up there where there's like a railing. People can walk around. Yeah, and you can get nice an even better view of this. So that's one of the towers, the clock tower. Quite beautiful. What a nice view also. Beautiful view and you can see that it's actually quite a big uh, city. Uh, you might just walk on the old town but it's going uh, still far. And the lake. And the Alps. Wow, look at this. We have a beautiful day also and a clear view on the Alps. So not far from the walls of Lusan, you have the famous Lion of Lusan, where Nietzsche proposed apparently twice to his girlfriend, I would say, uh, Salome, <laughs> and got rejected. So I don't know if he got rejected because he was already kind of crazy or became crazy after being rejected twice, but this is the famous Lion of Lusan. guys that's it for our video in lucerne i hope you enjoyed it if you did please consider liking and subscribing to make sure you never miss an upload if there's anywhere you want us to visit in switzerland please let us know in the comments below but that's it for us guys see you soon Bye.